Here is my entry for the BBS week at Retro Battle Stations. It is a full briefcase computer portable known as the Panasonic HHC from 1982. And it came with a base station, but you could get this multi-IO adapter that would support up to six devices simultaneously. So there you could see the acoustic modem, which is a 300 baud rate. And then on the main program to actually enable the modem, we go into the I.O. menu, which allows you to interface with all the devices. And I press the 3 and the 4 to enable the modem in and modem out. And then I go back to the main program list, and any ROMs connected to any of the devices will show up here. So there's Telecomputing 2, which is an actual chip inside of the uh, modem that can be swapped. And then you just click Connect, and then actually it expects a dial tone and um, communication directly through a receiver of a what used to be an old rotary type phone. Um, and here I am using a rotary phone, but I found that the volume just wasn't as loud as it should have been, so there was a lot of disconnects and corruption. So actually in the bulk of this video I'm using the phone that you see behind there, which is a slightly newer landline phone, but still with the same receiver end. And here we go, and we have connected, so you can see the welcome message and then the login screen. And once logged in, we go through the configuration. I just left everything at the default. This screen is actually a one row by 26 character limit for the LCD but it does support a video output, which I do have that adapter, and I will show a bit of that at the end of this video. Uh, that allows you to show multiple um, rows and columns, and you can even do colors and things like that. So uh, here we are. We're actually on the main menu, and we can scroll through there and browse through there. I am just going to press P to create a new post. And then I will enter the subject. I will say the keyboard, or what it is, which is basically calculator buttons, um, it is full 40 and I didn't really have much of a problem using it as I've been playing around with the system for the better part of a few years now. And then once the message is done, you just press P, or I should say you press the period, and I'm just speeding up the message typing here. Um, but it just basically says, hi, here I am. And once this gets done here, we will press the period, and that goes through the line editing modes and other options. And then when we're finally done, we just press P, and that should post the message to the bulletin board system using 1982 tech and an original landline phone. So from there, that's about it. And then you can do whatever else or log off. And in a second here, I will pull up the video of the uh, Quasar monitor hooked to this thing. So you can see the multi-line output from that. So here's the same exact connection, but we have enabled video output now. And this is running on a era-accurate uh, Quasar machine monitor. And Quasar actually did produce these HHCs as well. So they were Panasonic and Quasar branded, and same thing. So um, it looks okay, you know, classic green, green text on a uh, slightly darker green background. But that's about all I had to say, and hopefully you found this kind of interesting. It's a pretty obscure system to see working at actual network connectivity here. And you can use that same software to also interface through a standard uh, serial interface too. So there are quite a few interesting uses for this that I'm still sort of exploring. All right, thank you.